plants, animals and humans. To live, we all need the same thing, the air around us and the oxygen it carries. But when our air is polluted, we damage one of our most valuable resources. One person who feels strongly about it is Harry Potter star and environmental activist Bonnie Wright. I'm catching up with her in central London. Ooh. Nice wheels. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. We're hopping aboard a rickshaw to sample the air in a busy city centre. So thanks for joining me on a little bicycle ride. I thought we'd just cycle around and think about air pollution. Obviously, when we're in a city like London. Yeah, what can pollute our air? So we have cars around mm. us. We have, you know, big industry that, you know, say buildings or factories and things like that. Um, but luckily there are also solutions that we can look to that can help us um, make our air more healthy to breathe. So air pollution, bad, but what we can do, good. What can we do? What can we do? Well, lots of things. Uh, on an individual level, like at home, day to day, maybe limit your use of driving, and instead opt for public transport or cycling or walking or wheeling to school or work. And that is exactly what one group of BP fans are doing every day. These guys from a school near Manchester are trying to reduce the number of car journeys and have formed what they call a walking bus. The walking school bus is good because it doesn't cause as much pollution and it helps you and the environment. I like walking to school because it's good for the environment and say it's been it's a Monday, you can catch up with what your friends have been doing. Walking to school every day helps the environment and it keeps you fit and healthy and it gets your brain into gear so you're ready for the day ahead. Sometimes you don't always feel good about it, but we, we walk in every weather. Now, Bonnie, what else can we do to help our air? Well, we're very lucky we can learn a lot from nature and nature can do a lot for us. So we're going to go and head over to a park and learn an amazing hack on helping us clean our air. Ooh, I love that, a yeah. nature hack. Yeah. That hack is the super air cleaning power of trees. Bonnie is taking me to see a project called The Tiny Forest, where local school kids are helping plant trees to create a miniature woodland. So these trees look a little bit like twigs. <laughs> they are quite small, but they will mature into beautiful larger trees. Even just this area in the first five years will actually attract about 500 different species of animals and other plant life, creating a really biodiverse little tiny forest. So even within our own cities, we can create these incredible thriving green spaces that can help filter our air. Tiny pores in leaves help trees absorb pollution and carbon dioxide from the air, storing it in their trunks. In return, they release oxygen, helping clean the air and combat climate change. This tiny forest isn't going to be able to do everything, is it? No, sadly not. That would be great if it could solve all of our problems. Um, but what we can do here, I think we can learn how do we sort of take these lessons of, of planting here and, and integrate this into our daily lives. That could be if you have space to plant something outside or indoor plants are an incredible way as well to filter uh, the air we breathe. Well, that's two trees in the ground. Just another 598 left to plant. Hello. Hello. You look really hard at work. What are you doing here? Planting trees. trees. So cool. And why is it so important that you're planting trees? The trees help us breathe oxygen. That's right. How do you feel when you're planting the trees, knowing you're making a difference? Exciting. Now, these trees look teeny tiny, but what are they going to look like when they're all grown up? Big. 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 Whoa! Yeah, they're going to look massive, aren't they? and they will help our local community and our air. I can't wait until this place becomes a fully fledged forest. And there it is, the tiny forest is on its way. Yeah, it looks amazing. And in about two to three years, the trees will probably start getting a bit taller than me. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for helping out today. To enter the Blue Peter Earthshot competition, you'll need to come up with an idea to protect the planet. You'll have to live in the UK and be aged between five and 15 years old. Here's the cool bit. The five winners will each attend a very special VIP filming experience with Blue Peter and Earthshot. Remember to ask your grown-ups permission to enter and to read the competition rules of privacy notice. Head to the Blue Peter website to apply online or to download a form, fill out and post. And your entries must arrive to us by 5pm on Monday the 20th of October. Good, good luck! luck! I can't wait to see what ideas you come up with. So good luck entering the competition.